really worried about the escalation into war. So I think the big question that all of us have for you right now is we want to know today you guys got the intelligence briefing. Is that right? So you heard what the administration had to offer for their reasoning for taking out Iran's top general, uh, Soleimani. So did you did you get any information that was like, OK, yeah, this is why we did it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is is really the most frustrating thing is that there's been very little information that's been released publicly that we've seen in the news. Uh, so I was really hoping that I would be able to come to this classified briefing today and really get a sense of um, the justification that the administration was citing as the reason for their attack. But I didn't get that. What we got were a bunch of vague, um, vague statements um, non-answers to questions, and really no justification um, for Trump taking this hugely uh, escalatory act of war. Uh, it is an illegal, unconstitutional act of war that he took. Uh, now, the administration is citing uh, Secretary Pompeo has announced on the news that their authorization or, or their, their legal authorities that they are using to start a war against Iran uh, lie within Article 2 of the Constitution, saying that there is an imminent threat. I did not see the justification for that in this briefing today. And uh, number two is the 2002 Iraq War authorization to use military force. Now, I went back again after the briefing to, to read that 2002 Iraq AUMF because I had a hard time understanding how the administration could find justification in that legal authority. And I went back and I read it again. It was very explicit in the title and in the document itself that that authorization uh, passed in 2002 had to do with military action against Iraq, against Iraqi forces, against the Iraqi mm -hmm. government. As we all know, this is what was used to go in and topple Saddam Hussein. Mm -hmm. and the rest is history there. Um, so I think the, the, the bottom line is that, that the biggest takeaway from today is um, there, there is no legal justification for what they have done uh, in escalating this situation, increasing um, this state of war that we are in with Iran. And uh, Congress, Congress has got to take action, which, which is something that we will be doing tomorrow. So they didn't present you with anything that was like, OK, this guy is because they were saying he's an imminent threat. He's going to be taking out uh, our soldiers uh, any time now. And you didn't see anything to that. So first of all, there just was no evidence that this guy was like going to attack and he was an imminent threat. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not divulging any classified information. There just was no information presented. <laughs> and then the second thing is for them to justify the action that they made. They went back to the Iraq war. So they said, oh, well, the, we could do it because of the, the Iraq war, which was such a success. Yeah. And then they said that it was also what was the second reason that they used was the reason why they could do this? That, that, well, basically what they're saying is, and again, Secretary, Secretary Pompeo has said this a lot as he's gone around the, the, uh, the news circuits, is that because these uh, hostilities were taking place in Iraq, they are using that, as, that, that Iraq uh, AUMF as justification, uh, even though it's very clear to anyone who, who even lacks a basic understanding about foreign policy, just reading the document. Yeah. That the document is very explicit uh, against Iraqi forces. And frankly, it's one that should have been repealed a long time ago. So um, what is the next step? So you guys are voting tomorrow. So there's nothing.